broadband or contact the situation. It's a good program for a lot of kids, yeah. Especially Manchester needs it. When Newark also broke New Hampshire, we have different options. To, to specifically target youth, that's, that's great. Yeah, thank you. We're coming back from um, Hookset. Yeah. Um, where uh, U Haul was. And we saw a traffic stop with an unmarked car for a young gentleman. Um, it looks like they were searching a pickup truck. So we stopped on the parking lot and started video recording them. Okay. And, um, they almost, all four of them, cleared the stop almost immediately. And uh, once they saw the cameras, once they saw, saw the cameras, so, so their stop is clear. They were already in their car, gone. And they approached us and said, we are recording us with their, with their phones. And I asked them who they were, and neither one of them, none of them identified themselves. They all had Manchester police badges on, okay. hanging from their neck. And then they threatened to arrest me for recording them. With disorderly I mean, like, conduct. I, I, so I'm going to file a complaint I and I want to know who, who those four officers were. If they're conducting themselves in public, they, they have a, an obligation to tell the public who they are. Mm. Yeah. That's basically where I'm at. Okay. So. Yeah, I called this was in like the, the this was, It was coming out of Hooksett, but we're in Manchester. It's okay. like the, yeah. that side, that you oh, first okay. U-Haul place you see as soon as you come into Manchester. Yeah. I'm not sure what road that was, but it looked like a... Oh, okay, so I went to 3A. 3A, yeah. yeah. And there was four of them. And there, um, there was two that got into a, a, like a black SUV oh, Chevy, okay. older model, okay. but they had light bars all through the grill, uh -huh. um, no municipal plates on. Um, they had a second vehicle that was actually parked next to us, but we didn't know it was theirs at that point when we parked in the parking lot. Um, two of them got into that truck as well. That was a pickup also. But that was a newer model. Yeah. Um, and there was two specifically, was two specific officers um, say this is my face. They literally took their cameras and went that close to me. I have it all on, on video. Okay. Um, so I'm asking them who they are, why they were there. Um, I'm like, okay. They don't have to type it, why they're there. Eighth Amendment state constitution requires them to, man. They have a badge on, they're conducting business and they're a public official. Yeah, they're but, in, involved in an investigation. But so they're in the point. public. They don't have to tell you what they're investigating. Glick, is. Glick, it already, just, it already determines in a public forum they are, they are by obligation to tell us who they are. They can, you knew they were police, but they don't have to tell you why they're there or what they're investigating. Well, I don't care about that part. I want, the, I want to know their names. And they threaten arrest for record. That's my big problem. Well, if they want to stop people in, in public like that, they, they're subject to severe public scrutiny. Even if I was yelling swears at them, there's not well, a thing they can do. If you, were, if you were interfering with the stop, you are subject to no, arrest. That was clear. I know that, but I'm just saying, if you were interfering with the stop, you could be subject to arrest. Well, you can ask questions during the stop. That's already been established too in Glick. That was saying you were going to too, so those uh, two cases. I, I don't, you know what, honestly, I don't. Care about Glick? Glick happened in Boston. I, I get it. You want to appeal this court? Is the I jurisdiction I'm not going to get. I'm not gonna I, I know you don't because a lot of public officials don't give a crap what the law is. They just think they know what the law is. Is that okay, how it's going to go at this point? No, I've just been dealing with this all day. Well, okay, I got I got threatened or arrest because I want to record. Okay. So and you know, I'm we can tell you right now, I'm not going to take a complaint from you. There's, okay. I'm not. Why? Because I'm not. Okay, there's two ways this is going to go, and I'm going to tell you how this is going to go. There's two can ways I, this can go. You can leave the lobby. Can I just finish my sentence? No, you can't talk to me that way. Why not? You're talking to me that way. I'm, I'm trying to discuss with you what's going on, and now you're raising your voice, and now you're becoming upset. This is being recording, and I'm not raising my voice. This is how I sound 24-7. Okay. So, LT, let me tell you something. Either we can deal with this internally right now, or we're going to deal with this in front of a superior court judge. Okay. Why don't we, why okay. don't we deal with it any way you choose to? I'm telling you right now, I'm not taking a complaint. Why? For what? So you're basically going to allow your guys to stop video recording? No, they didn't stop video recording. Yeah, they did. They threatened me or they said, we're going to arrest you for disorderly if you don't get that camera out of my face. That's stopping the videographer from recording them. You could have kept video recording. Right? Or, or I was getting threatened with arrest. Oh, they can't arrest you for that. You know that. I know, but that's you're not what you're, you're, you're but it's still preaching a law to me. It's, listen, I'm not a free state LT. Okay, look at me for a minute. Do I look like I'm, a, I'm an inebriated free stater? Nope. Okay. Do but I I'm sound not like anyone? What, what, what that stands for. This is, me and him are the only two people in this group. 
So I don't know what that means, what you just said. Well, I don't know I'm what that well aware of what you guys, what cough block stands for and what you guys do. Well, you've got the yeah, national yeah. site and then you have me and him. Regional, okay. Okay, you, you never met J.P. Freeman. I already beat you guys like three times before. Yeah, we can do funny. this again. Yeah. And I, out of courtesy, I want to deal with it internally so I don't have to go that route and waste taxpayer money. Okay, but the conduct that I've seen at all of your offices the past three weeks the most unprofessional people I've ever seen in my life. Okay. And I've you caught can, blocked. You can have that opinion. I, I've, I've caught blocked in Miami Dade, Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I'm from New York, okay? Brooklyn, New York. Okay. I've okay. done there, taught in Mass, Brockton, Boston. Right. Okay? You guys are by far sure. the okay. most double standards. I'm not taking a complaint standard. from you. Why? Because I'm not. We're For what done. reason? That's not a reason. We're done. That's not a good reason. That's I want to file a complaint. Okay. I'm not taking a complaint. So how do I complain on you for sticking if up your If you'd like to make a complaint here. against me, because I'm not going to take a complaint from you. Yeah, but you're not you giving can, me a listen, reason. You can contact Captain Tessier, and you can make all the complaints okay, you'd your like. Your best it. friend, you were probably your best friend in his wedding, what, three weeks ago? Yeah. Time to go. We're done. Okay. So is there anybody here higher than no, you that I can speak to? No. I'm in during business hours. This is business hours. No, it's not. You didn't come home? They're not talking to the guys right now? That's not business? I just told you you need to speak with. She doesn't work right. during these hours. She works during normal business hours. Oh, okay. Okay? Okay. Well, I'm going to be up all your guys' asses from now until next Christmas. So. Well, let me just remind you that if you interfere with me, <laughs> if you interfere with me, you're going to, you're going to be sued. Okay? That's fine. Okay? Nobody's going to interfere you with can your certainly stops. Do. If you, you do have a spot. If you interfere with one of their stops or police doing their job, if you interfere, understand, you can be arrested. And, and define interfere. You can't. It could be many different things. So if I'm standing that's across the street, I'm not going to do this any longer. It's time to go. Oh, that's done. another threat. I'm not threatening. Take those bars off, dude. You're a disgrace. You don't have to follow me out. I can walk on my own. Okay? Keep going. That's fine. Okay? I don't need to be followed. I'm a grown adult. Okay, I'm, not, I'm, I'm like. not a toddler because I know what you're doing. You're doing it because you're taking an authoritative tone and you want to move me out to make yourself feel more powerful. No, I don't need to do yeah. that. Yeah, well, nice well, okay. Oh, child, wasn't he intimidating? Yeah. Don't come near me, man. Do not fucking touch me. Hopefully, hopefully you can grow up. Oh, you scanned what I was wearing too, huh? Fucking asshole. You're being sued!